gun on YouTube. Today we're just going to look at the Missile Fox code, which are Fox 1, 2, and 3. If you don't know what they are, that's kind of like what the pilot uses as a radio signal that they fired a missile. And Fox 1 and 2 and 3 are all different types of missiles. Fox 1 and 2 are most notably the ones that people get messed up a lot, so I thought I'd just kind of go over this video and just clear up that misunderstanding. Now we're going to go with Fox 1s first because... Well, it's pretty obvious why. The whole reason that they are labeled Fox 1 is because they rely on the parent aircraft's radar to guide the missile towards the target aircraft. They're usually known as the SARMs or the semi-active radar humming missiles. And they're usually like a mid-range missile, as you can see in the pictures there. You got the AIM-4 A, E, and F Falcons, which are the first SARMs used by the Americans. The AIM-9C Sidewinder, which is more or less of a prototype type of Sidewinder aircraft. When I say aircraft, the missile is basically an aircraft. The AIM-7 Sparrow is the most notable Fox 1 because everybody's heard of it and it's the most widely used. The AIM-26 Falcon or Super Falcon is another one of those the Epseed, usually the Epseed 1s, are basically like a Sparrow type alongside the Sky Flash. The R-23R and R-24R are radar guided versions of the R-23 and 24 Russian missiles. The R-27R is a longer range variant of those missiles. And the Sky Flash, which I already went over, it's basically a Sparrow. Next one is the Fox 2s. Don't mind any of the Discord notifications if you can hear them. And they're basically fire and forget, more or less, because they rely on the target aircraft to guide it, which means they are also very easy to... How should I put this? They're very easy to lose track of because they rely on the heat, meaning they are IR-seeking missiles or heat seekers infrared. So they target the heat, which means they are usually more maneuverable because they need to be. They're the smallest missiles also because they are the shortest range missiles because, well, heat seekers, you know, heat doesn't last for millions of miles when it comes to an aircraft, so kind of need to be right behind it. And here's some of them here. You got the AIM-4 Falcon, mostly the AIM-4D, which was used for... This is more or less of a, like a medium range missile. The AIM-9 Sidewinder is the most notable because you got like 11 trillion variants of them used by everybody. The R-3S is basically a copy of the AIM-9, which developed into the R-13, which is a Russian missile. The R-60s, R-73s, the SRAMs, which are British. The Matra Magic 1 and 2s, which are French missiles. The R-23T and R-24T, which are basically the Fox-1 versions of the missiles but developed with a IR seeker so they are more or less shorter range but they can go for a while I don't know if that makes any sense like they're shorter range than the Fox 1 variant because they go after heat but they last a lot longer because they got a lot more fuel and they're just an overall bigger like a heftier missile as well as you got the British fire streak which is basically the same thing it's just a large missile that can track an aircraft for a while as long as it doesn't, you know, pop flares or maneuver, which is kind of how you get rid of the Fox 2s on your tail. Fox 3s are usually the self-reliant missiles because they use an onboard radar to guide them, which means they're usually fire and forget, and they're also known as the arms or active radar hunting missiles. They are the longest range missiles, and as you see in the picture, they are also the fattest missiles, mainly because they are supposed to be the long range missiles. Now, when it comes to these Fox 3s, you got the Chinese PL 12 and 15s, which the 15 is more or less of like a new aircraft, usually fitted on the their J 20, the AAM 4, which is a Japanese missile, the Russian R 27 EA, R 33, R 37, R 77 and the American AIM-47 Falcon, which is mostly known because it was fitted on the YF-12 
which is basically a fighter version of the A-12 or SR-71 type aircraft. The AIM-54 Phoenix is also another well-known missile because it is fitted on the Tomcat. It is also fitted on the F-111B, which I'm not sure a lot of people might know. But that was also phased out of service as well as the AIM-7 Sparrow by the AIM-120 AMRAAM or Advanced Medium Range Air to Air Missile, which is basically what that means. These ones are just all really long range missiles. They have ranges of usually around 100, but they can go on for a little while longer than that as well. So yeah. Before I go, there is a link to the Discord server in the description. You can join that if you'd like. It's pretty chill. And yeah, tune into the next one. See ya.